Today we need to get into Jimin having a knee injury and what happened there. We need to get into people very concerned over Jimin being hurt at the camp by troops for being too quote unquote girly. And then we have Jimin leaving through the door and what happened there. So you don't please stay to say hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, it's a spilling bug merch and let's go. We need to talk about Jimin's newest single. So if you don't know what is happening and you're thinking, wait, didn't he just enlist? Well, yes, he did. But he apparently pre-recorded a lot of content and Hive is going to slowly start to release this content. After the pandemic, I think it was proof of concept that you don't actually need to be active and constantly promote via shows and tours in order for a song to be successful. In fact, Jimin could have a lot of pre-recorded performances that the team might just send to award shows. And so Jimin actually is planning on releasing his new song closer than this, which is a beautiful purple colored album art. And then Jimin apparently said that there are going to be more gifts than this. The song will be coming out the day this video is recorded, so maybe by the time that you're watching this, it'll already be posted. Now there were some hints and teasers for this before the album art got released. I posted on BTS official Instagram a video of Jimin dancing. He was dancing with his dancers and in the background you can hear a song with Jimin's voice. The video then transitions into Jimin and Tan being together and acting goofy. There are some writing on the mirror that we can see and then we see them playing around with the drawings and stuff. It was supposed to be like them standing still and then the text got animated in front of them but they wanted to do a cute live version of that. And apparently people are now thinking that the lyrics we see in the mirror are the lyrics of the song that is about to drop. And people now were getting super hyped about that. At the end of the video, people thought it was cute as we start to see Jimin actually leave with Taeyang and put the phone down and walk out the door. The point of this video is to make it appear homemade and less polished as it would appear more authentic, but not break anyone's bubble. These things are definitely not as homemade as you would think. First off, there's a big chance that the concept was created in a meeting as when you're in a label, the ideas need to get approved anyway. And then Jimin probably had a team come up with how to execute and maybe even what to draw on the board. A lot of times with celebrities, they just show up and do the performance, meaning when they got in, there might have already been the stuff drawn on the mirror. There was also choreography before the writings were seen, which means someone or possibly a teacher could have prepared the choreography beforehand. Also, this is just a very small thing, but I have never seen a phone get put down that easily right away without any sort of kickstand or something. So I'm very impressed at how he was able to hoist the phone up and stay there all in one take. Especially if you're trying to rush to get out and leave through the door, usually it'll be like, okay, I'll put the phone down and then you walk away hastily and then the phone falls. But anyway, the boys are experts and they probably have their methods in doing these little things very well. After all, our boys have worked for many years now and have gone through every possible little thing that an artist has to go through. One of them was getting his leg injured. This happened a little while ago and the reason it's being brought up now is because of a BTS documentary that was just released and it started to refresh all of the old things that BTS went through when they debuted. This of course led to people talking about times in which BTS was going through hardships and one of them understandably is injuries. So how did Jimin get this? Well apparently during a live performance during Pied Piper he got injured. There isn't exactly a clip of how this happened and if he tripped or whatever it was. We just see photos of Jimin's knee bleeding. This obviously is very disheartening to see because it looks very painful. He played it off really well and he didn't let his pain show on his face or through his performance. And this is due to how professional Jimin actually is. He is someone that never shows his pain or any bad things during his performance. In fact, most of the time, if there is a malfunction, we aren't even aware unless you really know the routine or the stage blocking. For example, there was even another situation in which Jimin actually played into his professionalism so well. There was a performance in Wembley Stadium where he was performing serendipity. The performance includes him on stage in a bubble and he at one point is supposed to touch the bubble and pop it and then emerges. The bubble is really just the set sucking up the bubble and it's really beautiful illusion. However, during this performance when he went to touch the bubble, it actually did not pop. He he ended up actually just being stuck in it. And in a moment like that, what do you do? Well, if you're a professional, the first thing you need to do is stay calm. And even if you have to do the whole performance in that bubble, you go ahead and do that. But the next thing you do as someone is you must be someone who is aware of how performances work. You need to trust your team. With every concert, there is a director that oversees everything. There are lighting people, there is someone watching. And if this is not their first show, they can quickly tell something is wrong and thus call whoever they 
need to call. Quickly, someone called the stage manager or assistant and they went over and pulled the bubble, in which case Jimin stood up and left the bubble and continued the show. The dramatic way in which he left the bubble would make it appear like it was part of the performance and if this is someone's first time watching the performance, they're just going to think it's normal. Unfortunately, these mishaps happen a lot and the bubble mishap is definitely better than a knee injury or anything like that. Of course, the injury is going to hinder a lot of the following several performances, but there's nothing you can do in that situation. For those who say dancing and performing isn't a sport, I don't agree because they have the same strain to the body and just like you can't be an athlete for your entire life, it's difficult to be dancing at the same caliber for your entire life. For that reason, it was definitely shocking to hear that BTS boys were being told to go enlist because one of the reasons why the normal age range for enlistment is 18 to 28 is because that's believed to be the best age in which the boys can handle the stress and the intense training that comes with it. So I imagine even just extending that parameter to 18 to 30 would be completely against the point. However, the boys are doing fantastic in the service anyway. When Jimin enlisted, there actually was a bit of a concern for his safety. And I can't tell if the people who are saying this were genuinely concerned or if it's a group of people trying to make him look bad. Because I didn't even think this was an issue. People were scared that Jimin was too quote unquote girly and Jimin would get mocked or bullied in the military by the other soldiers. I'm very confused how that would even happen because worst case scenario, Jimin and Jungkook would just be alone together or eat together and they're in a buddy system. But even in a situation where there is this top dog soldier that decides to bully everyone and everyone who isn't manly, who would have the literal balls to bully Jimin? Jimin has every resource available to make that bully regret breathing. Jimin can take such severe legal action on anyone that tries to hurt him that the bully would never have another dollar in his name. You have to have some level of balls to think that hurting a celebrity that is so famous would ever turn in your favor. It's just so dumb. But also turning around and saying that Jimin is going to be hated for being too girly is a hate comment in itself, but also wrapped in such sexism and everything. And I can only imagine the people that are saying this are also women too, according to their profile. Do they hate women that much? A woman joining the military can also hold their own weight and be very strong. But aside from that, it doesn't make sense that in a scenario in which Jimin is training or doing that sort of stuff, he is going to be portraying a more feminine side. Even women in the military aren't showing feminine sides. Yeah, it's a sense of trying to hide that because they think feminine is weak. But also naturally, if you're holding a gun or about to throw a bomb, you're not going to do it in a way that's defined as stereotypically girly. So naturally, that side of Jimin would never come out during the military training. Jimin is also very strong physically, as you have to be to be able to dance and train for as many hours as he has. You need to actually be physically very strong. And of course, if Jimin were to get into a fight, I think he can hold his own and actually do very well. In fact, Jimin was actually the first BTS member to show off abs, so we know that he is actually very strong. So I don't like this narrative that tries to paint him as a super sensitive, weak, and cannot defend himself. Even if he physically couldn't, this is still the real world and money talks louder than anything else. So he can literally buy himself out of any situation. Not that he'll ever need to do that because Koreans have some sort of honor that they like to keep and they're not barbaric people. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check on Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.